Hello, this is not a spring chicken today. I guess we're getting a little bit in a goofy mood because we've been talking about doing Christmas songs and Christmas owls. And you know what? I don't know about you, but it just puts you in that whole Christmas frame of mind. And so we have with us our frankincense and myrrh. Yes, real frankincense and myrrh. Mm. You know, and here, here's... A, oh, actually, I guess you could get a whole other thing about it. But see, part of it is... is all these Christmas songs and having it just puts you in this like Christmas spirit frame of mind and <laughs> we get a little bit giddy. Okay, we're in that Christmas. <laughs> no, we have not been drinking Christmas eggnog. <laughs> we did not gargle today. And we didn't gargle today, but it's putting us in the mood because we're getting ready to start a Kickstarter campaign on what Christmas is and what Christmas is to various people. So, of course, come help us spread the news on what Christmas is, whether you're on Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest. But meanwhile, news still continues, and we're going to go with old Cam with comments on the headlines of today. Well, that's because it's natural for you. Well, it's not I mean, natural well, it should have been. There's, they can read music and they can write it. I can't. I mean, I, we're going to discuss it now about it. I actually was demonstrating a few minutes ago why I was a really good floater. That's why you're a really good floater. Yeah, because I yeah. can come in and not know what the hell I was doing and get away with it. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, because um, they said that the, uh, the, the you don't think the well, BS the bull said you don't think the fix is in. They said tonight that um, that that Barack Obama does not even have to show up for the uh, debates and there can be an empty chair there and that. Mitt Romney can do his best, uh, Clint Eastwood, and they said Mitt Romney will lose the debate to the empty chair. Mm -hmm. That's how much the fix is in. Mm -hmm. And the Democrats defend Susan Rice. I mean, call for her resignation. But they can't defend her. The Demo okay, most of the, a lot of the senior Democrats in the middle, okay, they find out. Here's the latest revelation today. Uh, the State Department decided to uh, to not change the people doing the security on the thing because it would have been offensive to change the security people who were not doing the job they were paid to do. Mm -hmm. So basically, they knew that there was a problem. They knew that people' lives had been threatened. They knew everything and did nothing. They want the heads of all of these people. And the problem is, is people like Leon Panetta are not willing to sacrifice themselves for the president, folks. And rare albino whale spotted off the coast of Australia. I've seen lots of white whales in my life. I don't know what's so rare. Anybody? Pilot whales tend to be white. Oh, they are? Yeah. And Obama's telling business that he needs the support of not to worry. Oh, yeah. That basically the Warren Act is not applicable if you support the President of the United States. That's where you have to warn people before you shut the business down. But he said, real, it's not applicable to you, and if you get sued, you, the taxpayers will pick up the cost of it. Well, no, they won't, because they're going to, this is another one of these things that will not come in until after the election is over. And um, like I said, I, once again, I heard him last night, one of the Democrats said, he said, it, 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 the, the election of the president is totally irrelevant. It's who controls the Senate. The control of the Senate determines what, what the way our country is going to be for at least two years. And they said, if the Democrats take control of the Senate, they're going to get their asses thrown out in, in 214. That's a real gimme, folks. And Minneapolis gunman suffered a mental illness. Yeah, well, most people that do go around shooting people, okay, um, th this is their problem is that the average person that owns a gun never even sh never loads a gun once in their life. But the problem is, is that a person that sits there and does nothing but load, unload, load, unload is a person that should never have a gun in their hands because that's the person that's basically going to use it. And California creates a state-run private retirement plan. Which basically has to be funded by the taxpayers. You believe that? They can't pay the retirement funds they have, so they're going to raise new taxes to create a new fund that they can't pay for. Oh, is that what they're doing? Yeah. And Boeing added cell phone compatibility to some of its airliners by 2013. Yeah, but it's irrelevant since you can't use the cell phones in flight, folks. They don't let you. Okay, uh, basically, you can't use them on the tarmac where you're sitting for two hours. You can't use them on the. You can't. Uh, you know, self airplanes and are, are sort of not really good for line of sight transmission. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're flying at 50,000 foot in the air, you're not going to get a real good signal. And flight attendant tries to bring loaded gun through the airport. It's becoming, I think what's happening is... That is this, this is another one? Yep. 
last night another flight attendant brought a, uh, tried to bring a gun through, and their excuse was they needed it from pass from they needed it to protect themselves from passengers that were getting overly aggressive. Well, what happens is the people are getting more and more pissed off at the airline unions. Like yesterday, a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, something's could going have on because if all these flight attendants are starting to feel like they need to. They need the guns. Then basically, here's the rule. Uh, you, you don't take a gun and go boom, boom in a cabin. Guess what it does? It diversifies the cabin. You know, they, a little hole like that becomes the size of a, of a mm. you know, size of me. So. And culture, the Democrats are dropping the blacks. Yeah, because they don't need them. I mean, um, like this video that was put out yesterday that basically the, if the Democrats are basically they're laughing about. I love this. Well, if he'd have seen him being condescending to black people and basically being racist to white people, he would have got the he would have got the nomination. But since by now everybody knows he's that way, it has no effect whatsoever. Yeah, basically he was he was talking down to a lot of intelligent Afro Americans. Okay, here's a here's one from one of the top business women in the United States that happened to be Afro American. He said, "What do you call a black man that is in business?" What? A Republican. <laughs> because they can't afford to waste their money on all of this frivolous stuff. And Apple... <laughs> and oh, it's true. And Apple could be worth one trillion within a year. Not anymore. They have lost another 20 billion today because of the... What? The, okay, they've lost 80 billion dollars in worth since the, uh, the app disaster. Well, they said the, the ma Apple map is indignant of this Apple 5 cell phone, which was nothing but basically if you like the problems with Apple with the cell phone 4 then you like the problems with cell phone 5. Ah. And America's hidden unemployed too discouraged to count. Well yeah no it, it's just Obama has decided that you're not unemployed if you're not if they're if you're not looking for work you're no longer unemployed according to the president. No you means you're still unemployed you're just discouraged. You're just discouraged. <laughs> well, I mean like today you gotta love the figures today uh, okay, uh, companies put out their figures a week ago on how many people that are going to be hiring for the uh, upcoming holidays, and 20,000 unexpected service workers were added to the account, added to the thing, the very same day of the debate on the econ mm -hmm. economic issues. Uh, the problem is, is that the economy, the people on Wall Street, uh, the, pop the president can only affect investments so much after that, then. If it's a light day, the market goes up. If it's a heavy day, the market goes down. People didn't buy the fact that, uh, well, that, you know, that, that basically 20,000 service workers, well, God, that's really going to help the economy. No, they're the low, they're people working at McDonald's, they're people working in you know, little, low paying jobs. So. And in Colorado Theater, where gun and shot 70 people could reopen. Yeah, you know, they're trying to get it shut down permanently, which I, it's ridiculous. People got shot there. They get, you, know, you don't shut down a street because there was a gunfight on it. Mm -hmm. But they want it because uh, the Democrats want to make a shrine to gun control out of it. Mm -hmm. And Egypt's Morsi assumes a major role in the Mideast. Yeah, because he's the head of the, he's one of the big shots with the brother, Muslim Brotherhood, which is vile, which is uh, most countries in the Middle East prohibit people like him from serving in public office and yet he got elected with Obama's support. And anti-austerity protests erupts on the streets of Athens, Madrid. Well, you know, it's just got to can do it because everywhere there's Muslims you're going to see this going on. And Google executive question over Brazil election video. Oh yeah, well because um, they're wanting censorship. Okay, here's the, here's the people at USC this morning. That we may, in order to protect freedom of speech, we may have to we may have to make it illegal to say certain words or produce certain videos or films or television shows in order to protect speech, because some speech is dangerous and we must protect people from dangerous speech. But that's not censorship; that's protection. Ah, and Bangladesh Muslims torch Buddhist temples and homes. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're basically we have a president of the United States who basically is, you know, very pansy in nature. They said, well, he's done this. Well, it doesn't take a great land to say, okay, uh, which button do I push today to blow the hell out of somebody that we don't know who they are? That's mm -hmm. all he does is he gives the permission to push buttons. And Governor Brown signs bill giving juveniles a second chance. Well, no, okay. 
it, it, you've got to go back to a thing from Beretta. If you can't do the crime, can't do the time, don't do the crime. Basically what happens is, is now the, the state of California, well these people were young, they didn't know what they were doing. They, they, yeah, they know what they're doing, they're a little age. And Bonnie and Clyde, um, Bonnie and Clyde Gunn stay together after high bidder pays five hundred thousand dollars. I know, basically, it's only worth the, it's worth what it is as a piece, as together, not individual pieces. It's just like because it's Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, it's just like we have things that are worth more in a whole than they are as individual. And Obama, Romney is a good debater. I'm just okay. Well, the guy is a well. Actually, <laughs> I, I'm going to give you a thing. Romney sucks as a debater. But here, B.S. the Bull is actually plastic. B.S. the Bull could beat the President of the United States in a debate and not say a word if the President of the United States was not allowed to use a teleprompter mm -hmm. because he has a very bad memory and he basically, all B.S. the Bull has to do is say, you know, all he's got to do when, when they ask this question, well, do you think the President of the United States uh, did everything that he should have done? And then you go, Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the president, you, you know, basically the president goes to his uh, Chicago four-letter words and his thug tactics when he loses his temper. That's and all you do is make him lose his temper and it's over. And L.A. Mayor declares Carmageddon 2 a success. Yeah, such a success. It ended hours before it was supposed to and they claimed it was a, uh, it took every minute that we had available to get the job done. We traveled the whole highway about one o'clock in the afternoon, folks. Yeah, we saw what it took. Hugo Chavez says he'd vote for Obama. I know. All of these dictators will vote for Obama because you know that if you've got Obama as president, Obama's gutting the military. Yep, of course they want Obama. <laughs> yeah, because then no one can stand up to him. An official man's New York City arrest in Lohan dispute voided. I know, it's ridiculous. The guy, uh, they said, well, th th here's what it is. Uh, she got what she deserved. That isn't the way it works, folks. My father, when he was a police officer, would answer things with, with people, men and women, that were both known for causing, you know, for getting into trouble. And if they filed a complete complaint, they took it seriously. They would do it. But with Lindsay Lohan, if you push her around, well, if she deserved it. It's the same attitude as, well, if a woman wears a miniskirt, she deserves being raped. And Clinton says the U.S. to ease Myanmar import ban. Yeah, because they're turned into good guys. They're still restricting everybody under the sun, but they're good guys now. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, that, that why is it that people will only admit the truth after it's no longer important?